What's going on guys? Let me start this video with a question. Are you a huge sports fan and do you like going to sports games? Well today you're in luck because I have a promo code for SeatGeek which is a ticket sharing app that rates each ticket deal you might come across on a scale of 0 to 10 with 0 being the worst and 10 being the best. Scores more towards 0 show up in red while scores more towards 10 show up in green. My promo code to get $20 off on SeatGeek is Obersports. You use that code, you get $20 off on any single purchase you want on SeatGeek. With that being said, let's get to the video. All right, guys, so I'm a little bit pissed off right now. Um, I was watching the Brewer game tonight. They're playing the Reds. The Brewers have been slumping. It's been really ugly, what, whatever, yada, yada, yada. Home plate umpire, can't remember his name. Um, Jason Vacant something. I can't remember what his name is, but that's beside the point. This fucker has cost us how many goddamn runs tonight? I mean, the, the, the most recent example, Brewers are down 11 to 7, bases are loaded, Grand Dahl's up. The, the, the second pitch in the sequence was obviously a, a ball high. Out of the strike zone. Obviously, to anybody, you go look anywhere at Fox Tracks, on your MLB at bat, at ESPN app, anywhere, it's a ball. He calls it a strike. Next two pitches are both balls, so it's a three run count, and then, or a three one count, and then, uh, Grandall, uh, I can't remember if he flew out or whatever, but he, he got out on the fifth pitch, and that was the at bat. There's two outs. That was it. Should have been a walk. Should have been a run-scoring walk with the bases loaded. Should have been four-pitch walk. Instead, it's an out, and the Brewers are robbed of a chance to score runs there. The other example I want to talk about is earlier in the game when, uh, um, I think, when what was the situation? So, um, uh, I think it was 6-4. Uh, to four. Yeah, six to four, and Junior Garrett's pitching, and there's a, I think it's yeah, it was the there was a guy on first and second, and three two pitch, Guerra gets a, he throws a strike on the inside corner, clearly a strike. The entirety of the ball is in the zone, on all of the on all of the uh, measurements at bat, Fox tracks everything had it as a strike except for the umpire. That cost the Brewers three runs in that inning. Do you know what the score would be at that point? Do you know the Brewers would would be winning the game right now if that umpire makes that call? I just want everyone to know that it is time. I don't. You know what? I I've always kind of been a defender of like the 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 umpires, the human element because it adds a little more excitement and flair to the game. Because sometimes you're gonna get ejections and everything like that, arguing balls and strikes. I, I like that. It's interesting, but it's happening too much now. And it's screwing my team every freaking night. I cannot stand this, man. It is ridiculous. It is over-the-top, blatant incompetence. There is no sport that I have seen that has had such grossly incompetent officials, especially behind the plate. Every single night we are talking about blown calls in at least one or two games in the MLB. It is time, and maybe it's just because there's more games that are played in the MLB that there's. it seems like it occurs more often, but it's just absurdly bad. Go to an electronic strike zone, please. MLB, make the right decision. This offseason, they have to do it because I'm fucking sick and tired of this. It's ridiculous. It is getting ridiculous. It caused it. I honestly think it cost the Brewers the game tonight. The home plate umpire. It, you can you could make a legitimate case that this guy has cost like the Brewers like three runs and and had a major impact on the game. The horrible way he's been calling balls and strikes. I I'm I'm. <coughs> I am... God damn it! This is the first of two rants I'm going to do tonight, by the way. So, um, probably going to upload two videos. Um, the second one's going to be on why the Brewers are sucking, but... I mean, obviously I'm very irritated by this, though. Like, I the Brewers suck right now. This doesn't help at all. If, when, when you... When your entire team is in a slump like this, and you just you can't really seem to like get out of it, and then the the home plate umpire is making ridiculous calls like he is tonight, like it just it doesn't help anything. 
And the worst part about it is that the MLB never does anything about it. They know their officials are terrible, but they will never do anything about it because they don't want to look bad. They don't want to embarrass themselves by going back on their, like, sticking with the umpires. I don't understand it, though. The MLB does a terrible job of marking it as players. They do a terrible job of getting younger people into the sport. And this is a reason why. It kind of is. They don't want to... They, they don't want to move into the future. They want to... They, they're all traditionalists, and it's annoying. It's like these are the same kind of people that are, are preventing the electronic strike zone as the people who um, who uh, are mad at bat flipping or whatever, you know? It's the same fucking p group of people. They're just all mad and angry about shit because it's going against the tradition of the game or whatever, you know? Like, traditional umpires... I, I, it, it, the, the fact that they defend them as much as they do, it's, it's the same fucking group of people. It, it shows that the MLB is run by people like that. They don't market their players. You know what? If the MLB wants to get more people interested in baseball, they would go to an electronic strike zone. They would get rid of of the ter terrible umpires and, and take the players' side on situations like this. And, and they'd they'd be promoting their players more and it'd be more, a more fun game for everybody. It'd be more exciting, more entertaining. Instead, the fucking group of old ass motherfuckers are sitting back there being stupid as hell, as hell saying, oh, you gotta be a traditionalist. Can't go to an electronic strike zone or anything like that. And I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, the, the, the game isn't even over yet. I don't even know what's happening. It's 11 to 7. I, I seriously doubt the Brewers are going to come back. Their one chance was probably in the eighth inning, and then that fucker behind the plate decided to blow the call. But, you know, um, yeah. So, and a rant. Now I'm going to talk about the Brewers, so stay tuned for that video right after this one.